How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel Pete's Carport and welcome to another video featuring my 1994 Honda Acti mini truck. So such a cool vehicle. You guys love it and I'm glad I get to do more videos on this. So I decided I was going to do kind of a small series on this because I picked this up about eight or nine months ago and I spent some time getting it insured and registered and so many people had information about that. So I'm going to do a video on that and then um, I actually had some issues with it. I had to fix that and in the meantime I decided to pick up some tires because I was not comfortable with what came on there and they were very similar size to what was stock they are 12 inch rims and it's a funky size they're like a one let's see here 145 12 so they don't even tell you the height of the tire so 145 12 I tried to order even some replacements just to have brand new tires because I was having issues in the rain and uh, I couldn't find them locally. You had to import them or uh, what I was coming across was ironically uh, trailer tires. Found out very unsafe to use trailer tires or a completely different uh, rated tire. And so I just took uh, the person's word for it and said, you know, I'm not gonna try that. Even though I did read on forums, some people have used them. I just didn't wanna go down that road. I wanted something very safe since I was traveling a uh, pretty good distance to work in this vehicle. So then I got, got on offer up and I found uh, these ones here. So I, I fell in love with them. I love the way they look on the vehicle and a lot of you guys do too. And you were asking me what the specs were, what they are. Um, and so I just have the information the guy I bought them from gave me and I only paid 50 bucks for these by the way. And uh, he told me they came off of a Honda Del Sol. For the research, I found uh, a 97 Honda Del Sol came stock with these rims. It was an option, I think. I don't know a whole lot about the name of them, but I can tell you they are your standard 4x100, which is what you have to have in order to fit your bolt pattern, unless you're going to put a spacer with a different bolt pattern on there. They do sell those. Um, and then they are um, a 45 millimeter offset and they're five and a half inches wide. So they're a 14 by five and a half with a 45 offset. So that's going to work if you have a mini truck like this. So these came with tires and they were pretty decent tires. They actually had a lot of tread life left in them. So I figured I might try to use those just to save a little bit of money. And uh, they did not work on the front. So I'm gonna get to that in a second, but they did work on the back. And so these ones are 185-65R14s. And so they did work on the back without rubbing, which was great, uh, but they just would not fit on the front. So what I did was I said, you know what, I'm gonna go down. There's a used tire place around the corner from me. I'll drive down there quickly, see if they have anything that we can mount and see if it works. And uh, ironically, they had a 175-65 brand new and one used. So they didn't have two brand new ones. And so we said, I said, well, let's go ahead and mount them. They were very cheap. Uh, we threw them on there and they just barely rubbed on the shock. So I, then I went down and got some grade eight washers, put them on there and perfect. So it's been perfect now for about four months uh, until I ran into an issue where this one lost uh, some tire pressure. I don't know at what point. And the tire came off the rim when I took a turn at a very slow speed, fortunately. And so it damaged the tire. I was able to fill the tire back up and it held the air but it did damage the tire and now I've got a lot of wobble. And so I need to get it fixed right away because I can't even go over 40 miles an hour without getting a bad wobble. So the really cool thing is these this size tire 14s are still readily available at most tire places. So I went down to Firestone and they had 175 65s available in a cheaper tire, a prime well. And they did have a 165 in a much better tire. So I'm getting a 165 65 R14 and I'm getting them in a Bridgestone Potenza. So we're just gonna do the two front for right now. I know I need to eventually swap those rears out, uh, but I wanna test these out. So my goal is to see if they'll fit without that spacer. So you guys will know you can fit 165 65s in the front and 185 uh, 65s in the rear if needed. So you'll have a little bit more meat in the rear if you wanna go that route. Now, of course, you could always get spacers and go uh, square all the way around, which means that you'd have 170, 185, 185, and you'd probably get away with that with a, a smaller, it doesn't have to be too big of a spacer, but like a half inch spacer or something like that. But let me go ahead and jump on this. We're gonna go down and get those tires taken care of. I'll show you guys the washer. So if you do have a 175 tire uh, and you have these rims or a similar style rim with the offset and the size, uh, you'll be able to uh, use them. You'll be able to use them with a little washer spacer on there. So let me go ahead and show you guys that. Then we'll go down and get the new tires put on. And I'll let you guys know if the spacer is needed or not and how they drive. And so this is that spacer I was talking about. It's a grade eight washer that I picked up from Ace Hardware. You can see it's probably close to two times the thickness of a quarter. And that gave me plenty of space uh, to clear our shock here. So what it was doing was rubbing barely on uh, the spring here. 
and uh, obviously that wouldn't have been good so I had to go ahead and do something. These fit on here really nicely uh, and they do work. So if you do need to do that, that will work out on a short term. So I'm gonna take these off and we're gonna go ahead and see if these uh, tires will work without this. I'll be right back. So guys, here's the new tires. I actually really like them, but slight bad news, they added the weight like this. And unfortunately, because of that, it barely, barely hits the spring. And so I've got to add those washers back on that. I'm talking about barely, barely, but it's just too unsafe. Now, if they would have done the weights on the inside, I'm sure I could take them right back down there. I had them remove these weights and add some uh, weights to the inside. It would be fine, but I'm just going to roll with it. I want to see how these tires run. I'm just going to keep these washers on here. And they worked out great with those. No issues at all. So I'm going to run with them. I mean, I ran with them for about a thousand miles and I'm sure it's going to be fine from here on out. Let's go ahead and take these bad boys around the block. I'll give you an idea of how they ride. Well guys, she's driving real nice. No vibrations, very, very smooth. Um, I'm gonna definitely recommend these tires if you've got this truck uh, and you're looking to upgrade rims. These Potenza tires fit on perfectly and uh, very, very, very happy with them. We're about to go over railroad track. Not bad at all, not bad at all. So yeah, I mean, if I even hit this speed before, they would be vibrating. So definitely a big change from the tires I had on there to these tires, and I'm very, very happy. It's raining out right now, so uh, they're pretty grippy. It feels great. So that's my quick review. I'll let you guys know uh, later down the road if you want to ever ask me how good they, how well they lasted and how good they ended up being for the long term. You guys have an awesome day, a blessed week, and I'll catch you on the next video.